Hey fellow Loomers, Amanda and Monica here today. I'm gonna show you how to make this new design. It's called the Mary Ella bracelet and it was designed by Souls Provider on Instagram. You may recall another bracelet that we did a tutorial for for her. It's called Ocean Waves. It was a very popular, it was a hook only design and a lot of people seem to like it. So she asked us if we would be interested in helping her out and making another tutorial for her designs. This one today is called the Mary Ella. On this bracelet, I used the limited edition peach frost and frost blue, light blue, not really rem sure or remember the name of that. And in the middle for this design, I used the white out of the silicone. Silicone uh, bands also kind of represent or feel sometimes like the limited uh, limited edition, sorry. Um, a little bit under the weather, got a little bit of a stuffy nose, so I do apologize uh, if I sound kind of funny. Anyway, here's another one that I just started. When she showed us the design, it was actually, she showed us it in four colors, and this was the one I was practicing on, and I just actually decided to just do uh, three colors. And today when I show you the design, I'm going to use three colors as well. I'm going to be using the black from the limited edition, fuchsia from limited edition, and then this is one of the pink glitters from, I believe it's the Enchanted. The black, we're going to use as the center color, where I've used the white here. And then obviously the, both of the pinks on the outside, just to give you a better idea. So grab your goodies, your supplies, and come back and we'll get started. Hope you've got all your goodies. So, I'm using today for a C-clip. Just one of the new colored C clips from Rainbow Looms. Rainbow Looms. Blah, blah, blah. Rainbow Loom. And all the products that we use, as always, like we've always stated in our tutorials, are always going to be Rainbow Loom. So, and I don't want to get into a big long intro, um, but I uh, just wanted to, to pass that along. So, anyway, so we are going to take our first color. This is going to be the inside color. And we're going to cap that off. I'm actually going to zoom in for you guys and move this out of the way. And I'm actually, just to make things a little bit easier, keep things together, I'm going to put this C clip right there. I better pause and come back and put this on. All right, I never knew a C-clip could give me so much trouble. All right, so we have that capped off. We're gonna take our other inside color. Mine is gonna be black. You can choose whatever you would like. And we're just going to pull that through. And it should look like that. We are actually going to pull that first loop off and pick back up the cap band, put that back on our hook, grab our first color, whichever one you want it to be, whichever you're using, mine's going to just be that fuchsia, I'm going to pull that through. slide that part down on my hook and then I'm going to pick up that far left hand band. I'm trying to keep my fingers out of the way and let you guys see as best as I can and then just place that back on the hook. And that's what it should look like so far. Take your second, uh, third color and this is kind of where it gets a little bit of, um, not tricky, but just a little bit different, I'll say. And I'm using a smaller hook than normal just because it's thinner. 
um, and the bands can slide around easier on it, but the actual hook part right here is not as thick as I like it, but we'll make it work. We're going to slide that maybe. We're going to slide these back on there. is what you should have. You've pulled that band through those other two bands. Pull these back a little bit. You're going to pull your hook out underneath that and place it back on your hook. Hold this tight and you're going to take this far pink one, wrap it over. second pink one and wrap it over. Then you're going to reclaim it. Grab that back pink and that pink. And this is what you should have so far. These two bands here in the middle are crossed over this one. And then you have these two bands that are loose. Now if you have a double ended hook, which I do not, mine is in the mail from Amazon, so I'm very excited to be getting that. Um, if, if you have that, obviously just slide it to the end. If not, like I've showed you all before, pinch that off. And turn it around. Well, you know what, I just put the same side back on. I was confused. There we go. And I do apologize for my sniffles. I'm so, so sorry. So now, this is what your hook should look like. So we're going to start with our first inside color. Slide that over. Pull that black back in there as well. Second inside color. Like I said, this is where it kind of gets a little bit tricky. Pull these two over. Slide that pink back and we're going to pull that black band it over all right now I've realized what I was missing take those bands out we're gonna start over there's that cat band for some reason I always forget that so I'm apologizing grab that cat band replace it back on the band and put it back on your hook and now your hook should like look like this this is correct these bands are going to be out of the way. First inside color. Pinch, slide those over. And we're going to bring that black band back up on the hook as that one as well. Should look like this now. Second inside color. through. It should look like this. And we're going to put that black band 
back up. Over there. Grab this fuchsia. Over. The second pink. Over. Push that back. We're going to reclaim this one and reclaim that one. All right, I know it may have seemed a little bit confusing and I did not des describe it very well or go and tell you how to do it very well, so I do apologize. <laughs> and this is what you should look like right now. So, actually, there's only two steps to this besides the fact that you're turning it around and doing it to the other side it's the same process so there's actually just two processes that you have to do or two steps that you have to to learn to get this bracelet you just have to make sure that you turn it around and do it on both sides so this is the second step center band grab that hook you're gonna grab one two, three, and also that black band as well. And our goal is to get this into the center. So what we're going to do, put that back on our hook, put that back on our hook. Kind of pull this a little bit move these bands out of the way and there you have it in the center and we're starting our next process first inside color Reclaim that outside band and the one in the middle. What I like to do is kind of pull this down. That way you get your band situated. Now we're actually going to take this piece off. Reclaim that black band. And pull it up. And this is what she should have. Outside color. Wow. I hope these bands don't keep flicking all over the place. Then on your hook, you should have two of the pinks. We're going to grab that black band again. That's what it should look like. And this is where we're going to do our crossover. You always want to do the one that's on the outside first. Cross over. Cross over. Now you have two outside bands here. We're going to take that furthest out that's on the left, reclaim it, and put it back on her hook. And that's what that side should look like. You can start to see the pattern, and we're getting there. So, if you have the double-ended hook, you can slide it over. If, not, if you're like me and you don't have one, pinching that very tight, pulling that out, and I'm just going to put it back on my hook. And I think that's just sorry. That's what you should have on this side. Same process on this side. First inside color. Grab that. And I just like to pinch and pull them over. Put everything over on your hook. Slide it down. Reclaim that outside band, 
and replace that. I like to do this to get the, kind of the bands in order. You're gonna take this off, go in, get that black band, and reclaim just like that. And this is what it should look like right now. Kind of move these out of the side so you know which bands that you're working with. Gonna grab that glitter color or outside color. Over. Pull this over and then this is where we're going to pick that black band up. Put it back on the hook. Hold on to this and we're going to cross over. Cross one. Cross two. Come back, reclaim. Oops. Here we go. We're going to reclaim this outside. Both of those outside. And you should have this. And it's starting to look like this. Whoop, whoop. I actually really am loving this color choice. I love pink. All right. Back to placing our center band again. I hope you guys are able to follow this and understand this. It took me, I will say, a while to figure it out on my own. So we have all three of those on there. We're gonna reclaim these and this as well. Remember this is the band that we're gonna put back towards the center. There we go. And your two bands in the middle should be crossed over like this. This is your inside color and then this is your outside color, and it should always be that way. I'll show you just a couple more times. Like I said, it took me a while to get this pattern down. So, we're gonna take all these over, reclaim that outside one, just like that. Put that back on your band, or your hook, sorry. Remember, like I said, kind of straighten them, get them organized. Take this part off, hold that, go back in, get that black band or your center band, whichever one it is for you. If you choose to use black, that's fine, but that's going to be your center band. And put those back on the hook. It should look just like this. Grab your outside band. Pull these over, pull this over as well, get those situated, put that black band back on your hook, and this is the crossover time. And always make sure your outside goes first. One, two. And don't forget, when you put it back on your hook, you're gonna grab that outside band and then the furthest outside band. And that's what you should have on this side. Pinch or slide, whichever you choose. Turn it around. I'm off camera, sorry. And we will start again. Pull them all over. It's just the easiest way to do it. Reclaim the outside one. Back on your hook. Organize them. Get them nice and organized. Pull that back off. Black band, center band, and back on the hook. Sorry, starting to get it.
pull these two over. Pull the black over as well. You should have those two. Slide that back up onto your hook and it's crossover. One. And two. Claim the outside band and the furthest outside band. And that's what you should have. I'll show you how to do the centerpiece one more time. And then I'll go off and finish my bracelet and come back. Pull all of these over. The center band. Grab those two outside ones and put your center band back on there. Kind of give it a little bit of a tug. And it should be in the center. Just like that. And repeat the steps that we've gone through. And if you are having trouble, um, just pause the video. Go back and watch it again. And I hope that I did explain it very clear and that you can follow these instructions. So um, if not, you can post in the comments and let me know. So I just want to make sure that it's very clear for you. So I'm going to finish my bracelet. You go finish yours and we'll meet back here in a few minutes. All right, guys. So I have actually finished my length of my bracelet. This is what you all should have. We're going to close it. I'm going to show you one more. We're going to do one more step before we actually close it off. So you want to end it like this. And we're just going to put that center band back on there. And close it off that way. Pull all of these over. Reclaim these, pull it up in the middle. All right, and this is how we're going to close it off. We're just going to take two of our center bands. Um, if you've watched any of our tutorials before, you know that Monica and I have to have two bands to close things off just because of that possibility of. Um, anything breaking so you can grab one but we will always 95% of the time grab two take those and we're just gonna pull those all the way through I'm flicking my bands I'm flicking my bands all right try and again just gonna pinch these up and over and we are gonna take everything off this time just like that everything should be on your hook we're gonna close it like that now the C clip that you have down here on the end it's already there and we're just gonna close it Just like so. Well, it's kind of backwards because I've got it on there. Let's try that again. I don't like the way that that's going to lay on my arm. So we'll start. Whoops. I don't want to lose that part. So I've got that there. I mean, you know, you guys are pretty advanced loomers, especially if you're doing this design. You know how to close a bracelet. But anyway, there is our Mary Ella bracelet designed by Souls Provider. Very, very pretty. Four pattern color scheme. Two. 
sorry, three. There are three colors here and three colors here. This one I think would really look good um, in rainbow going all the way down. That would be very, very pretty. We're very anxious to see what you guys come up with. Um, do not forget to follow us on Instagram. You guys know the drill, okay? You know the drill. Follow us on Instagram. Check out our Facebook page. Subscribe to our channel if you like it and want to look forward to more Rainbow Loom tutorials. We have a lot coming out. We have a lot, 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 a lot of new designs that we are very excited about. Um, some of our own and also some of our fellow loomers on Instagram. So please like if you like this video and uh, comment in the comment box below down there and um, tag us on Instagram. Always hashtag Amanda and Monica are looming and hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Happy looming! Hey, sorry guys, I forgot to tell you what bracelets I'm wearing. Uh, Monica and I promised to do that for you all, um, and I totally forgot. So, um, this one that I have on my arm, this is one of our favorites by Joe on Five Kids Cause Chaos, called the Funky Crossed Braid. And then this one, sorry, I'm actually holding the camera this time. This one is called the Galaxy Bracelet. This is my ladybug for my bug, um, designed by Looming Roach. So check out Looming Roach on Instagram also and on YouTube and Joe on Instagram, 5 Kids Calls Chaos. Thanks guys. Love y'all.